Got a cross right here, my bad. Let me see if I can get it to uh, not turn off. There you go. And we're still on the bike, by the way. If you guys are wondering how I was running so fast, I wasn't running, I was on the bike. <laughs> it's a bicicleta mission, guys. Oh shit, hold on. Yeah, the, I'm still working on the van, guys. You know, there's deep, look it. There's some serious shit, details involved into this breakup that you guys gotta know about. I am completely vulnerable and helpless right now as an individual. Why? My car doesn't work. I've been living at the house that I've been asked to leave from for nine years. I currently don't have anywhere else to go, but I'll, come on. That's why you fucking have the internet. There's places, there's, yeah, I'm gonna find a place. That's for goddamn sure. <laughs> but I'm just letting you guys know that currently, I got nowhere to go. My car does not run. Uh, I have a job. I, as you know, I've been riding my bike to work. And I figured I was just gonna stay in the relationship and be in love and be a good dad and, that's just not the case. I was dumped, you know. Um, she tells me now, because it changes, the story's constantly changing, but she's telling me now that she dumped me because she never loved me like that. And she thought that she could, and she tried her best, but she just can't. And that is period point blank enough, you know, like, like, Everybody knows, you know, love is a delicate and difficult thing to deal with. There's so many different types of love. The love that she's looking for is the way a woman loves a man and a man loves a woman. I love her like that, but she don't love me like that. So, you know, that's just where it's at. But anyway, so then... I've been asked to leave, which is fair. And all I told her is, hey, my car doesn't even run. At least let me fix my car. Don't fuck me over like that. If you want to do your thing and live your life and have fun and great. But don't leave me like this, stranded with no fucking, you know, in a real bad spot. Don't leave me fucked up. So let's see. I'll keep you guys posted. If she kicks me out before my car runs, I'll tell you. And if she does it, and the car starts running, and I get an apartment, and I'll show you guys the apartment. I ain't tripping. Because like I said, the whole point of this channel is my fucking journey, guys. This is one man's journey. I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen next. Hey, and neither do you. So stay tuned, and we'll find out. But I know today, I'm gonna go home and work on the van, and pack my shit. And I know tomorrow I go to work. So, let's go from there. That being said, I'm glad that I... Glad that I have love in my heart. Because even though she did that to me, I'm not on that, oh, fuck her. I can't believe this shit. Hey, this shit happens, bro. And she had the balls to tell me it's over. So I need to have the balls to tell her, all right, fine. Let me fix my car. Let me put my possessions that I'm gonna keep in storage. And let me live my life. But don't fuck me over, because I didn't do nothing to you. You just don't love me, I respect that. But don't fuck me over. You know, that's my main focus right now. All right, guys, I'm nervous as fuck. It's one man's journey and this journey is rough and you know, it's gonna have ups and downs. I told you guys that a long time ago. I didn't know all this shit was gonna happen. Swear, this is just popping up. This is not for show, this is not part of, the, this is not scripted. This is me 
living my life and saying, what the fuck, serious? Trippy shit.